The US dollar index is gaining amid political unrest in Afghanistan. The American currency is strengthening, while stock indexes are falling. However, the situation may become even more tense as today's macroeconomic calendar includes the minutes of the US Federal Reserve's recent meeting. Amid the general decline, S&P 500 showed similar dynamics. Today, the index posted a steep drop to 4,435 from 4,480 points. This can be attributed to the fact that the markets are worried about a possible earlier phase-out of the Fed's bond-buying program. Boston Federal Reserve Bank President Eric Rosengren predicts strong job gains in the country as early as September. This, in turn, may satisfy the U.S. central bank's requirements for beginning to reduce its monthly asset purchases. Against this background, the S&P 500 index is gradually falling. According to analysts, the index will hardly collapse and will hardly hit a new high. Most likely, it will trade in the range between the levels of 4,400 and 4,440 points. Expectations of the Fed's report had an impact on the US dollar as well. Demand for the American currency increased on investors' hopes for the imminent changes in the regulator's monetary policy. Yesterday, the dollar index rose sharply, coming close to its annual highs, the 93.00 area. The index is expected to trade within the range between the levels of 92 and 70 and 93 and 30. At the same time, the trend in a USD card will depend on the US dollar index. Moreover, Earl is no longer bearish and is trading in a relatively low range. The USD card pay is now at 1.2610 and is expected to move in the 1.2515 and 2650 range. The US dollar index is strengthening. According to majority of currency pairs, I incurring losses. Yesterday, Bitcoin traded at $48,000. Today, it is tumbled to $45,000. What happened? Indeed, no important news broke. The price went down because the $48,000 mark was also the resistance level. The quote simply failed to break the barrier. However, market participants will attempt to do it again soon. In general, the cryptocurrency market is bearish. BTC is projected to surge above $50,000. Will this day become a turning point in the market? Investors await news from the US Federal Reserve tonight. According to uh, unofficial sources, the regulator plans to start reducing bond buying in November and enter the asset purchase program by mid-2022. The stock market is already falling. What will happen after the FOMC minutes are published? Well, find out soon. And that's all for today. We keep monitoring the financial market situation. Subscribe to our channel and see you tomorrow.